Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. We are looking at the month of August 2022. Now we're looking at the sign of Libra. And we will divide the reading into um, areas so it's easier uh, for you to understand it and for us to actually read it. Um, so we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead. Before we then go into your emotional core, emotional cores are about, you know, love and, and, and old trauma that can go. And then finally, we will look at opportunities. So as you noticed, I'm not on my own. I have a guest. Yay! <laughs> my guest today is Kelsey Shane. And she is available for readings outside of this little screen that you're watching, looking at. Right? So I'm leaving the link to her Facebook page in the description box. So please, please, please um, make use of it. And with no further ado, we're going right in. This is your over energy for the month of August 2022 for the sign of Libra. And if the screen is wobbly, it's my cat is right in front of it and she's nuzzling her, her, her head here. So if the whole thing falls over, it's going to be a great video, right? It's not manifested though. <laughs> Okay, Libra. So um, the overall energy that we're getting from this is you need to connect with your inner self more this month. Um, it's going to be a time for you to expand your knowledge further, uh, whether this is in work or maybe just something that you've had a little interest in. Um, now is definitely the time to do that. Um, express yourself a little bit more. If there's something that you feel you need to say, then say it. Please be cautious in how you do it, um, because I feel as though at the moment it may sound a little brash. Um, so think about your words before you're saying them out loud. Um, but definitely, this is now a time for self-expression. Thank you very much. And moving on from this, or carrying on from this rather, when it comes to you, for, to anything with emotions, what the guides are saying to you is expect massive change. Now, change is the only constant in the universe. Really, you cannot fight change, you will never fight change, it is inevitable uh, because life is cyclical. The point that guys are making is when it comes to your emotional core, um, whatever needs to change will change. And that change is about to either hit you or at least is coming, right? Uh, because when things are not moving and become stale, there is no growth and that's not what you really need, right? So what is interesting here is that they just giving me this as a block and the block means they're not showing me whether or not this is more towards love or more towards changing your perception of things. That makes sense. So they just give me this as a block, which means very likely it's whatever it is you want to get out of your emotions um, will have this powerful energy of, um, of change. Okay. And that's your um, emotional core. And then finally, we will look at your um, at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August. Now, please like, subscribe and share. Please, please, please. It helps us grow the channel. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. I do like my coffee, you know. And it's a free service. Come on, it's the least you can do. Right, <laughs> here we go. Okay, so um, as the other cards have, have, you know, presented themselves, um, this next card is saying, you know, have your boundaries and approach things with caution. Um, you know, this links into what myself and Thomas have just said. Think about what we're saying um, and how we're saying it. There is change coming in. Um, it does feel as though it's going to be good, but still, just keep your wits about you. And... and um... And for whatever reason, they just gave me another card. So, which just means they have a bit more, a yeah. bit more to say. So Libra, what the guides are saying to you is, based on all of this, is to remember that we all come here responsible for our, for, for seven generations. So we are responsible and we are also a part of our ancestry. So like anybody else on this planet, you came here semi-burdened. You have stuff that you have to deal with, that have to do with, with, um, bloodlines and families and all that kind of stuff, if that makes sense. And the guides are just saying to you is, this is not the best month for reflection. This is the month for not being held back. So it feels to me that if it really is to do with whatever energy you create, the easier, so the easier things will, will change for the better. All right. 
that's all we got time for. I see you all next month. And um, yeah, ta-ra. <laughs> <Here we go. laughs>